Sit in a very comfortable position because two days you are going to sit. If you want, you can sit in the chair, no problem. And don't sit behind somebody. Sit so that you can see me, I will be able to see you. Hmm? I teach more by body language than by verbal language. It will be easy for you to pick up through my expression than through my words. First thing, because I don't know much of the language. I know only a little bit. Of course, Radha will help me with words whenever I am in difficulty. Supply words. One or two persons who knows Tamil and English, you sit here in front. So whenever I ask for words, you supply. If you want, you can stretch your leg, sit comfortably, don't bother about formalities and procedures, you can stretch your leg, only thing don't sleep, for my sake, not for your sake, just for my sake, don't sleep. Whenever you attend discourses or lectures related to medicine, medical field, medical discourses, See, for example, you go to a medical discourse. That professor says, if somebody has a small, mild pain in this chest region, it may be the symptom of heart problem. If somebody gets continuous pain in the knee, it may lead to arthritis. If you listen this type of few words, immediately you very feel it yourself. Even though you know that you are healthy, young, perfectly alright, just for a moment you verify with yourself. You know the new discoveries, research they say, in the medical schools, whenever a particular disease is dealt, all the students, they feel the symptoms of that disease. Have you heard of it? Have you heard of this phenomenon? Whenever, if the headache, the lessons are going on about the headache, all the students, they get the taste or glimpse of the symptoms because you contemplate on it. Whenever you attend that medical discourse, you verify, check with yourself, you refer, you just touch and feel. Am I having any pain? No. Am I having just pain? No. At least mentally, you feel it. You verify it yourself. But when it comes to the spiritual things, when it comes to the spiritual things, when you go to some spiritual discourse, that person says, Life means you should be more adjusting, you should have love, you should have the sense of egolessness, you should adjust and live. Immediately what we do? We refer with others. I think my husband needs all this advice. I think my wife should be brought for this discourse. Tomorrow I should surely bring my mother-in-law. Tomorrow I should surely bring my wife. Whenever something physical is start, medical is start, you refer with yourself. Whenever something spiritual or meditational is given, you refer with others. Whether he is doing properly or she is doing properly, or he is behaving rightly or he is behaving wrongly. It's your mental condition. Whenever something medical, you refer with you. Whenever something spiritual, you refer with the next person. That's why I always tell husband, wives, please don't sit next to each other. In the class is an instruction. Don't sit next to your friend. Don't sit next to your relatives. 
what happens, you know, when the husband wife they sit next to each other. Whenever I support some way the husbands, immediately they turn, listen. <laughs> this is what I am telling you for years together. See, listen. Whenever I support the wives, they say, hmm. Have you heard what Swami is saying? From the day I married, I am telling you the same only. You are not listening. Instead of you listening, you change your life, you pass the work to the next person. Everybody thinks I am speaking for the neighbor. Actually, everybody thinks, this is not for me. I am not so bad. I am little bad, but not so worse. As Swamiji says, it is for me. I think maybe for my friend. Once, Nasruddin's wife, she was in deathbed. She is about to die. Nasruddin was weeping and wailing. She shouted, you fool, don't act. I know, as soon as I die, you will marry. <laughs> she, he said, I agree that I am a fool, but not so fool to marry once more. <laughs> so we always think, I am a little fool, but not so much, as Swami says. I think it is for the next person. It's for the third person. And I always seen, have you got your ribbon? That, uh, blindfold? <coughs> Not it. Please bring it. You will be asked to tie your eyes before the meditation. When I say, please close your eyes and tie the ribbons, I have always seen people just watching whether everybody else has tied up. <laughs> Nobody ties the ribbon. They always see whether everybody has tied up. And I have seen somebody complaining. Swamiji, he has not tied. <laughs> How do you know he has not closed his eyes? Because you are not closed. We live only watching others. Most of the time, we live only watching others. What others are doing? Sometimes I have seen strange things. Of course, here it's a small group, 2,000 people attend. In Salem, once we did the meditation camp, but one day camp, 5,000, 6,000 people. Sometimes the mass meditations, 30,000 people. How to control? But no other way. Nice, you are fortunate. Can have. Even ASP also in India, the two days camp also, hundreds of people attend. Here is a small group, the interaction can be more. And not only that, we can be straight to the point. It's nice. I have seen, because of such a big crowd, people just get up and see whether others, everybody has closed their eyes or not. Once they are convinced that everybody else has closed their eyes, only then for closing their eyes. So here, please don't wait for the others to close their eyes because they will be waiting for you to close. <laughs> and who will close first? So whenever you are asked, just don't bother about the other. You start doing it. For this, next two days, try your best to avoid thinking about the time, thinking about your routine, thinking about your day-to-day -day activity. These two days, almost all of you have decided to be here. Am I right? So when you have decided to be here, why not take the maximum? Why not have the maximum? And one more thing. Many of you must have attended many of these classes, courses, read a lot of books, must have been exposed for so many spiritual classes, spiritual courses,
spiritual program. Any of you who attended like these classes, courses, satsangs earlier? Many. Mm. My only humble request, you attended perfectly all right, nothing wrong. But don't verify what I teach with those earlier knowledge. If you verify, you will be doing only two things. Either you will agree or disagree. By disagreeing, you will not be practicing the meditation. You will be losing. By agreeing, you will be telling, oh, the same thing what I heard there. Even then, then also you will not practice. Because last time you never practiced. That is why you are here again. <laughs> last time you could have practiced perfectly. There is no need for one more class. You would have reached the total. Last time what you did, you attended, but not put the effort, put the effort totally. That is the same thing you will be doing. Again, don't compare either agree nor disagree. Just feel fresh. See the whole thing totally with your new eyes and put your effort. Nothing else is required. Everything else will have time. As far as the technique is concerned, just put your effort. You will see the miracles happen in your system. Miracles happen in your being. Allow the being to flower. Because it is continuously flowering. Never think because of you, your life is running. In spite of you, it is running. Be always very clear. Have this one saying in your house, in your bedroom. Never think because of you, the world or your life is running. In spite of you, it is running. That's actually true. In spite of you, God is running the world. In spite of you, He is running your life. So, these are a few things. Now we are, we will take up two techniques, a small technique to be practiced. The first thing, now we will take the vow, conscious decision to use these two days maximum, conscious decision to put your total effort, your total being for the meditation. We will close our eyes and Collect your whole mind. I'll guide you. you. Can start. Just sit in a comfortable position. Close your eyes.
consciously desire to tell your mind I'll put all my effort my total being to understand and experiment and experience the meditation tell your mind very clearly verbally all my effort to understand experiment and experience the bliss the meditation tell your body Thank you.